Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, I apologize we have the, the chat disabled and we will make the comment section disabled too. Uh, because these days, you know, they are uh, too much tough on us. You know, anything you say, they will say it's a hate speech. Uh, so to avoid uh, problems, and they will uh, they will make you responsible even if for somebody say something in the chat, even if he's a Muslim. So to avoid that, <clears throat> we are going to, we are disabling the chat for today. Uh, actually, it's a very, very good day. I mean, very good news. Everything is is, is wonderful. Uh, we will start with France. Actually, our topic today is going to be about France. <clears throat> Let us see. If you remember, I uh, I posted a video. few days ago <clears throat> about a person who made a video in Twitter he is one of the fathers of uh, the students in that school where the teacher he showed the cartoon and then <clears throat> uh, This uh, this video sponsored by many Islamic mosques and many uh, people they retweet and support it and imams and this person he was saying in the video actually I'm trying to find it <clears throat> uh, anyway you can find the video I mean I, I showed it to you just a few days ago in a previous uh, video uh, anyway uh, so this person who made those videos calling the person who showed the cartoon the enemy of Allah aren't you worried that there's one billion Muslims can go after you aren't you afraid that there's a billion one more than a billion Muslims do you are making them angry we are willing to protect our prophet, don't you? I mean, things like that. <clears throat> now, there's many people who they are from the what is called Islam. They think they can say things, and they can, you know, I mean, they, I mean you, know, see, you can say. I mean, uh, but then, when things get complicated, and the person who you make a threat against he die, now you are going to spend for good time, maybe between fifteen to twenty years in jail for that video tweet who you are asking the Muslims to go after this person this person he was arrested <clears throat> this is a this is a Muslim post actually I found it posted in Facebook French police violently ride Muslim charity home and of its founder. Uh, this is about the founder of a charity. Actually, this is not the one I'm looking for. Hold on. I got the wrong website. We'll go back to this one. Here you see the daily uh, uh, news, whatever. Barbaric. Parent of a student arrested after teacher beheaded for showing anti-Muslim cartoon. And look, I look at that at the title, anti-Muslim cartoon. This is not anti-Muslim. How this is anti-Muslim? He's not. Why he's drawing the Muslims? I mean, you see, sometimes journalists can be stupid. By the way, anti-Muslim cartoon. This is not anti-Muslim. This is anti-Islam. This guy is not even anti-Islam. He is just teaching them how to accept somebody to be different from you who don't believe in your belief he can make fun of it he can make fun of his belief too he have cartoon of uh, in the same classroom he have a cartoon of the president of france too he have a cartoon of trump he can make cartoon of everybody 
This is not anti-Muslim. So even here the title is stupid. But anyway, this person who did pause the video making a threat against this teacher, him and his wife and his ch child who was in the school was arrested. Why? Because they found that all of them, they are partner of the crime. And this person who spread the video, <clears throat> who he made the video, uh, obviously those people when they live in a country, Western country, they think that they own the country. That's it. They can, you know, okay, they, you know, they want freedom of speech, by the way, to the point they are asking for jihad against someone. But you cannot have a free speech. They can have it, but you cannot have it. They can call you all kind of names they want, but you cannot answer them. They want a free speech, but they don't want free speech for you. Free speech only for Islam. And uh, I found that, let me see if I can find this news. They found that even terrorists from Syria are involved. When I say from Syria, doesn't mean they are Syrian. They are terrorists who, you know, Syria became a big terrorist country now in the world. I mean, a center, like it's not Afghanistan no more. Let us see if I can find it. <clears throat> yeah, there's news all over about it. You can you can go and check and read, you know. They are connected to Syria. They are connected to Shishenia. They are connected to the, the Muslim in Russia. So the, the network of the, those terrorism, and by the way, this guy who was arrested, he, is, he himself is a criminal. He sell drugs. He was arrested many times for selling drugs. Uh, he buy drugs. He do drugs. But he's a good Muslim. You know, I mean, he love Allah, right? So the sheikhs, they are asking a guy like this to go and do it, but they themselves didn't do it. As an example, this guy, we, we mentioned him, the one who was arrested. Why this guy was arrested? Why this, the one who called himself sheikh, why he was arrested? Simply, he sponsored in Twitter harassment against a journalist. And he was using uh, some time and his group or his team, you have a group with him, not only him, uh, like those websites, you can hide your IP. And they think like if you hide your IP, you know, they will not find you. Anyway, they were collecting enough information about them. And then they got them busted all together. And here, this is the Muslim post. This is a Muslim here page asking the brothers and sisters and support. Uh, French police violently ride the Muslim charity and home of its founder. He is a Muslim charity founder. I mean, his charity founder, their charity, the to who? I don't know, the charity? How a charity founder is involved in, in theft and crimes and threat. Actually, they found that he was even stealing the meal. Let me see if I can find this one. Here we go. <clears throat> Stolen meal. <laughs> and there is many other charges actually you know so those people who they are threatening people in the you know like like the guy who threat uh, uh, opposite prophet with his name Ali if, if if something happened to opposite prophet do you know what will happen to this guy he will stay in jail for century things is not going to be the same as before no more If something happened to this guy because of something you did, 
Even if you want to say, I, no, I did not kill him. I did not say, I never said the word kill him. I did not post, uh, 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 you know, like, uh, etc. about him to go and find him, etc. No, you know, I did not uh, mean that. No, you do. Because you know what will happen if you do that, and you did it. And actually, that person, he uh, said it clearly, uh, Ali Dawa, we are watching you under the Emir. You have an Emir. So, God forbid if something happened to Apostle Prophet, those people who threaten him live in recorded video with their face, not voice only, they will have a good time. And actually, this person who was arrested, <clears throat> he was harassing this person years ago. You know, you think you are harassing a person years ago, it's gone. No, they are coming after them because they were waiting to collect enough evidence to incriminate you. Like, the, how we can, we don't want to arrest you about something silly. We want to arrest you for good. And now they are going to shut down his center and his mosque. Actually, uh, <clears throat> Uh, the mosque of Paris is shut down. Let me see if I can find the news. If uh, if my internet ever, you know, like went down a little bit, just refresh your page. We hope it's going to be back in case that happened, because it ha might happen from time to time. They shut down the whole mosque because they found that this is a network of terrorism. It's not only the imam. I mean, everything inside is happening. If you remember, there is once the BBC, they, they, uh, they make a documentary. It's called Dispatch, in case you remember. And then uh, they took it down because Muslims, they start complaining. But the Dispatch is a true documentary. It's not edited. It's recorded by mostly by phone or by secret camera, hiding camera and they show you what they teach inside the mosque. So there's two kinds of teaching in the mosque. There's one to Muslims and there's one when there's foreigners, not Muslims, around. Strangers. Behind doors we say Christians are pigs and monkeys and Jews are the same and atheists are the same. When in front of them they say no, Islam respect everybody. You know, in the previous video I made, somebody made a comment. He said, Christian Prince, you are lying. In Islam, Islam respect uh, other opinion. I'm not going to go after that uh, comment. But, you know, I, I mean, the funny is, this guy, he made the comment when I, he was watching my video, reading this hadith about the women who disrespected Muhammad. And because she disrespected, uh, disrespected Muhammad, she was killed. She is an African slave, as usual. They claim that they, Islam protects, you know, like um, Islam is, is against slavery, you know. <laughs> Islam is against slavery. Question, how many slaves Muhammad have? <laughs> you know, and they say to you, it's, <coughs> sorry, Islam did not like free slavery. It was to have to be done step by step. What about you start from yourself? There's a very famous slave, a Muslim keeps speaking about, his name is Bilal. Muhammad, he promised him to go to heaven, yet he did not free him. You will go to heaven, my friend. <laughs> but for now, you are my slave. Anyway, not our topic. So this this, uh, this woman here, she, uh, if you remember, we read the history before, uh, she was a slave of, a, of a, her, and her master was a blind man. And it says here, who she used to abuse the prophet and disparage him. And he forbid her, who the master. And she did not stop to make the story short. He warned her, she did not listen. So he took his dagger, long knife, and he placed it in her belly. He pressed it and he killed her. And the child who became, he came between her legs, her son, was smeared, was showered with the blood that was there. Look how evil. This master he have children from her from his slave he rape her every day 
And then his son from the slave between her legs, holding the skirt of his mother. And God knows what happened. You can imagine, I mean, what, what will be happening? He put the dagger in her belly and he killed her. And the blood is showering the child. Then in the morning, Muhammad, he asked the Muslim to assemble. And he asked, he heard the news about the woman she was killed. So he said, the man who did that, come here. I adjure him by my right to him that he should stand up. Jumping over the necks the people, of the people and trembling, the, 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 the man stood up, the blind man. He said before the Prophet and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I am her master. She used to abuse you and dis disparage you. I forbid her, but she did not stop. And I did rebuke her, but she did not abandon her habit. I have her two sons, like pearls from her, and she was my companion. Last night she began to abuse and disparage you. So I took a dagger and put it in her belly and pressed it, and I, till I killed her. See, till he killed her, not like he, you know, he make a cut to show her that he is serious. No, till he cut her. Thereupon the messenger said, thereupon the, the prophet said, O be witnesses, no retaliation is payable for her blood. And this is, as you see, authentic. Sahih me authentic. So there's no retaliation for killing someone who make fun of Muhammad. That is a true Islam. And then the guy in the text, in the comment, he says, Christian Prince, you're lying. <laughs> Islam don't teach that if somebody made a, a fun of the Prophet, we should kill him. Look like Muhammad is a bad Muslim. He don't know what is Muhammad, you know, Muhammad don't present Islam. You know, this is what happened. And this is why actually I'm really uh, uh, excited to see the change. It's sad to see a person get killed or one person is too many. But more they will be killed. This will not stop. But we have to deal with the problem and the Western countries and many other countries they were too much politically correct to the point they don't even stop using the word Islamic terrorism for a long time. In the time of Obama, there's no more use for Islamic terrorism. They thought if we stop using it, nobody will do Islamic terrorism no more. Stupidity is amazing, huh? And the same happened in France. You see, anytime you say Islam teach violence, they say Islamophobic, Islamophobia, Islam is peace, Islam doesn't teach that. And the ISIS don't present Islam. Okay, did Muhammad present Islam or not? This is Muhammad. This person is making cartoon in her time, in her own way, saying Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad, he stood and he says, okay, we have to make a judgment here. The one who killed this woman, come here. I'm going to punish you. The second he heard that she is making fun of him, oh, there's no be able for her. You see, in Islam, by the way, if a slave get killed, there is no, the one who killed the slave, he will not be killed. You know, no, you pay money, and as long as he is the owner, he will pay money to who? Nobody. So if you if you kill a slave of somebody, you pay money. It's called the blood money for the owner of the slave. As simple as that. So the, even the punishment for killing a slave, even if it was un, like another you know, say unjust according to Muhammad, still the punishment will be just paying some money to the owner of the slave. In this case, the owner is is the one who killed her. And yet they say to us, Muhammad is a good guy. Muhammad don't allow this. The Prophet don't allow such a thing. This is your Prophet. And we can, we have tons of stories. So we show what they teach. They say you are lying. The parents who were arrested for supporting, or let us say, teaching hate. And the, the, the mosque which closed in Paris. And many other mosques are closed. And as you see, they close an Islamic center, very well-known center, for good. They, are, they arrived at the, the center, they took all the documents, they took all the computers, and now they are going to issue a close for good for the center. will never be allowed, and that guy will stay in jail for many, many years to go, to go. And if he is not a French citizen, I'm not sure if he is, he will be deported for good too. 
all of this because you Muslims, I'm talking about the true Muslims, don't allow freedom of speech. You lose. You don't win. You think you can force people by uh, threatening them to do as you wish. It worked the opposite way. And actually, just to show you, it worked in the opposite way. Let us see where's the news. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Here we go. Many magazine now, it was before only one magazine in France publishing the cartoon. Guess what? Now, many big magazines in France are joining the fight against Islamic terrorism. And they are going to publish the cartoons. And not only that, they are going to make anniversary for this person, anniversary for the death of the journalist who killed because of the cartoon, anniversary, which means every few months you will have a cartoon published just because of your behavior. You see this teacher here, by the way, he did not even make a cartoon or he did not show the cartoon to make fun of Muhammad. He was teaching them uh, tolerance. He showed them cartoon of Trump, cartoon of Macron. Many cartoons, you have tons of cartoons. One of the cartoons is about Muhammad. And he said to the Muslims, if you get offended from the cartoon I will show, you can leave before I show it. All of them, they left except one student, and she is the daughter, I think, of this guy who made the video. And now we will spend maybe 20 years or 25 years in jail, and he will have a good time, him and his wife, because they found they are behind the encouragement of the crime. The killing happened because of them. Even his child now, his daughter, she is in prison or in custody. So this person was just showing a cartoon for five minutes to teach them Okay, you know, we can make cartoon about each other, but we don't kill each other. Hmm? It's okay. That's all. And it was in a classroom, have maximum 15 students, 20 students. So look what happened, you, those who, lo who love Allah. What was between 20 students became a, a story and a topic for billions around the earth. Tens of thousands went in the street in France holding cartoons in their hands. People posting cartoons everywhere in France. Everyone saying, I am, they are posting the name of this person. I am Samuel. So it was a cartoon in a small class classroom. If you did not make a big fuss about it, nobody talk about it. Who, what a big deal. Let it go and look what you did. Now, everybody, is posting your private cartoon. And now they are going after many and they will deport hundreds of those who sponsor such an idea that the one who don't believe in our belief, we are going to go after him. If you are a French citizen, you will stay in jail and they will be watching you until you do something, even if it's in the internet. So what the benefit of this? Stupid. The same as Mimi Hijab when he did hide the, his interview with the uh, cadre. If he did not hide it, nobody even noticed it. Me, myself, I don't go watch their videos. Who okay, cares? I mean, stupid videos. There's holes in the narrative. So if it did not make a big story about it, nobody will care. Anyway, I think it's time for us to finish today. I wanted just to share uh, some ideas with you and I hope that the Muslims will learn that the threaten people not to say things against Islam will not work. It's not up to you. People are free. They can speak against Christ, they can speak, you know, you watch a movie, there's no need to mention the name of Jesus in the movie. They say a bad word to Jesus. We don't go after them. We don't threat them. They are selling t-shirts, making fun of the Bible, making, you know, Jesus, etc. My Bible is, you know, in, throwing in the garbage. You can find it on eBay. Oh, okay. Good for you.
The one who want to believe, he is welcome. The one who don't want to believe, no problem. He make fun of you, make fun of him. <laughs> Refute him. And now everything you are doing is going against you. And one of the funny things, actually, this guy who have an Islamic center, he was harassing, they went after him, actually. Uh, he was harassing a journalist a few years ago. It's not like just, it's, this is not today. He was arrested today, or arrested today, but uh, but the, the story go back a few years ago. And here, this is a good lesson for those who make a threat in the internet, that you might say something, do something, threat somebody, uh, and then they will go after you. They will wait until they have enough evidence to make you stay for good in jail. And then when they are, you know, like, uh, they did not arrest him only because of uh, this. This is one of the accusation, one of the crimes he did. Uh, he have a group of people who they uh, go after people, harass them, and supposedly using some website where your you know IP don't show. They think nobody can trace them. They get them all. And they found even that those groups and this center, you know, they are even stealing the mail of people, which is like you know, I don't know in France, but in USA it's a federal crime. You can stay up to five to ten years in jail. So, uh, they check everything they post, they check all their connection, they have all their emails, they have everything they do, uh, and this is the uh, Bangladesh, Baraka City, humanitarian, this is humanitarian, uh, Musa will remain in prison until trial for the following, bullying, every, uh, in Paris, Nago, I think this is that, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so they have many accusations about, against him, and he will have a good time in jail, and mostly he will be deported if he's a French citizen. And now the, the, the numbers of those people who they are arrested is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and let us see how it's going to end. But now, what happened now, it's a good call, wake up call for people in France. You were against Christianity for a long time. You insult Christians. You watch their churches, even though we don't teach violence. You tell us what we can say, what we cannot say. And now, you got a problem. You created a vacuum for terrorists to run in your countries, like France and England and etc. I hope they will fix this problem and things will be different. I want to say thank you for listening. And I apologize because the chat is uh, locked and the comment will be locked too because we don't want YouTube to give us any excuse. And actually, even with we, we lock it down, they might even complain. You never know. So don't uh, forget to download the video, share it with your friends, and until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it to you every day. Thank you very much. God bless you.